Hello, I'm Aos, and welcome to Riddle School 4. Oh, he looks serious this time. <laughs> Riddle University! Right, well, that would be the next thing, wouldn't it? <laughs> I love it! Okay, okay, uh, let's start a game. Oh, headphones. Right. Accessing. Analyzing map system. <laughs> uh, uh, broken tile. Uh, Analyzation complete. Right. Riddle School 4. Oh, this is, the last one was awesome. I don't know how long this one is, but I hear it's very short. Don't bend the rule. What? I, I just... Okay. Hi, it, what? Uh-oh. Phil? Phil? <laughs> oh! Um... <laughs> Phil's teacher, Mr. Munch, was the original architect of Riddle University. The school was built above a long pit of lava that he himself dug near an active underwater volcano. With a laser? How did he... This, his plan to murder Phil Eggtree to forever rid him of this world succeeded. Oh, Everyone cared. Don't say that. No one cared. No, everyone cared. Phil's awesome. Every other student at Riddle University eventually died from car wrecks, old age, and unforeseen disasters. Well, that's quite a progression. Uh, each one on their deathbed whispered their final wish. Please don't let there be any more Riddle School games. No! No, Riddle School is awesome! This is so much fun! It has the same kind of premise repeated. Who cares? I mean, that's what Zelda does, and I love Zelda. This is one of the best things in the universe. This, this is also one of the best things in the universe. Oh, come on, John, bro. No, it's so sad, too. Sad music. I'm not really that uh, miffed about it or anything. Uh, not upset or anything like that. It was published on April Fool's back a few years ago. So... This was intended to be the last Riddle School. He didn't. He wanted to end it. Wanted to move on, uh, based upon what he said and such. And uh, that's just the way it is. So anything that you click in that room, based on what I heard, that's why playthroughs are only two seconds or eight seconds. <laughs> Uh, just as every book has a start and finish, a series must have a beginning and an end. I deliberately sucked all the room out for another sequel of this series so that it too may end. Ah, John Bro. Alright, but uh, everything you click in that room leads to an ending. Just find something and click it and that's how you can try to beat the speed records. <laughs> oh, eight seconds? Oh, I took too long. Yeah, yeah, okay. Ah, uh, the lava. Uh, if you go to here? No. Special features? Special features. What happened to all the characters? He'll give a little snippet on uh, what happened to all the characters. Smiley legitimately has a nice little thing here. They spent the rest of the days together living happily in a treehouse in a beautiful forest. Ah, Smiley. Most of them are a little dark. And uh, they all meet their end. <laughs> uh, what else is there? Shall we go back in and see what there is? Yeah, skip intro. That's Diz. All oh, right, he was on the poster. Never mind. So yeah, absolutely everything you click in there is going to be leading to a dead end. Phil's dead end. Oh no! Uh, but there is a Riddle School 5. Eventually, he did cave and make another one, which is awesome as well. So we're going to go play that in just a moment. Uh, and as it says, this game was released on April 1st. <laughs> Alright, there's Phil! Riddle School 5! <laughs> Here we go! This was released the next day, or the same day as the previous joke one. 
So whether or not he actually wanted it to end or something like that, I'm not really sure if it was all part of the gimmick or, or not. He did have a lot of commentary in there, but I do know that uh, Real School did eventually come to an end, but not in this game either. Which is awesome, because I want more Riddle School. This is, this is so much fun. Ooh, same beginning. I love it. Well, everyone, it seems soon our dreams will become reality. Just as all of our prisoners' realities have become dreams. <laughs> we all know our new prisoners were taken from Riddle Elementary School. Enlighten our listeners as to the reason we're here already. I was getting to that part, Viz. This meeting is primarily to discuss these human suspects and their new dreams. Their behavior, after all, is why and how we are going through with our plan. Yes, because evildoers deserve nothing more than a taste of their own evil. Fred. This is Fred. Hi, Fred. <laughs> we can read the caption next to the corner, Diz. I'm enlightening everyone, just like you said. Fred, that's a good point. <laughs> I like him now. Fred, in his dreams, does as close to nothing as he can manage. Of the prisoners we have, he seems to be the least useful right now. Smiley, female. She's not smiling! Oh no! Smiley smiles constantly within her dreams. We've tried to find intended flaw in her ways... And yet, to any avail. <laughs> Not yet to any avail. <sighs> if one human is proven to be scum, the rest are no cleaner. Her face is nothing but a cover for her ugly desires. Zack. Oh, Zack. Shivering. Zack here was shivering long before he was abducted from that school. It seems impossible that he would be so ongoingly chilly. There is a chance that by looking into his unusual condition, we could power a weapon capable of freezing that pathetic planet Earth. Hmm. I could have sworn I was the one telling the presentation. <laughs> I like him more and more. <laughs> Phil! Oh, Phil's... Phil's a little kid again. Okay. And here we have the reason for our master plan. Had we not witnessed first hand Phil escaping from his own school, Earth would not have become our first target of destruction. We can get into his brain, but what matters most is what we try to get out of it. I'm a little lost. Knowing the enemy is the best way to defeat them. Phil is not an enemy! Oh, who's this? Um. Uh, Diz, uh, I can't remember what the plan is exactly. Quiz, you're completely useless. Well, I can clarify. With the knowledge we receive from these three dream captives, it's planned we completely freeze their homeworld, planet Earth. This procedure's to be repeated to other wrongdoing planets. Uh, I, I have one more question. Go ahead, Quiz. Uh, when you were talking just a second ago, you said from the knowledge we received from these three dream captives, didn't you mean to say four? <laughs> of course. Just a slip of the tongue. Hmm. Hey, why isn't the transmitter turned off? What if one of our subjects hears? Sorry, didn't even know it was on. It'll be turned off in a sec. Who's the fourth? What's, what's going on? John Bro! <laughs> My mind! You can only take so many explosions before there's nothing left. Oh, he's all fuzzy! What was that? He's waking up. A 
can do grounds game. Awesome. He's just a little kid again. Riddle School 5. Yep, that's school. That, this is nap room. Uh, can we? Mm, I don't think the door... Uh, I don't think I can open the door. It's barred and has no doorknob. That probably means it's remote activated from the other side. You are way too smart. I don't remember being that smart as a kid. Not even close. Mm. Pillow. That's a pillow, but it feels more like a lump of stiff clay. Well, that's awesome! You make a cup out of it. Oh! Alien coin. I'd mistake this for a quarter if it wasn't for the monster picture on it. Are you sure it's just not a president of the United States? Uh, vent cover. If it wasn't screwed to the wall, I could move this cover and get through. Yes. Is this a hog thing? It's a hog thing, isn't it? It's a hog thing. <laughs> this is a classic and I love it. I will also say it actually works. Uh, but you gotta have certain types of screws. Yes, get out. Um, I've decided I don't want to do that again. <laughs> like that. I wish I could go through life with that kind of attitude. Yeah, I've decided I don't want to do that again. <laughs> oh, what does it say here? Uh, card key scanner. It would not be preposterous to assume that the card key scanner controls the door. But I would not guess that the scanner works if you don't use it with a card key. So we need a card key. Subject 9417. Okay. There's a button on this duck statue. Is that what that is? But it doesn't seem to do anything. Can you press you Oh, you can't press it then? Fine. Uh, 4701. Oh, is this an actual puzzle? Uh, how, how do? You mean I'm actually gonna have to think for this game? No! No! Oh! I'll, uh, so you, they, they don't have to be done in order. I'm okay with this, then. Oh. Thought I had that. Here, here, here. And then... I heard that, Zan. Yes, you're absolutely right. I was a complete and total idiot. I took a break. I had to come back. Came back to this puzzle, this wonderful little fun puzzle that I kept flipping the ones and couldn't figure out how to do the other way. And I forgot to turn on my mic. Not that I'm saying anything here. Figured I'd do a small voiceover for puzzles, as I generally do, because it takes so much concentration for a stupid head to do. And there I go. I got it. Wonderful. Ah, can't hear a word I'm saying. Don't worry, he'll figure it out in a minute. I have no idea what he was saying. I don't remember. This was a few days ago. <laughs> oh, yeah, where are we doing? We're going up there? Statue? Some comment? Probably. Give it a second. Here he goes. Puts on the headphones, makes sure everything's still recording, and... There's a realization. Didn't have my mic on! <laughs> I got a phone call and I shut off my mic and then my mic off. <laughs> I kept getting backwards ones over and over again and I finally got that. Never mind. Never mind. Anything that can go wrong does go on radar. That looks distinctly like a radar, but I have no way of being sure. It could very well be just a red spinning line on a circular screen. We need things like that. We really do. Artistic things. Uh, let's go up here. Oh. Smiley's room. Smiley. Is that the smiley? <laughs> Zap from Zion. Smiley. <laughs> I really hope there's a better way to wake up my friends. No, no, no. You had it. Just give her a good shake. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's fine. It's fine. He's fine. Under the bed. You had a coin under the... I see a tissue. Obviously used. There's no way I'm touching it. Uh, good man. Uh, I like... I like the wallpaper. Flower room? Flower room! Uh, okay. Uh, why did the mute cat cross the street? I don't know, it didn't say. <sighs> the genius level of this game. I, I can't believe it. I mean, it just that blew my mind. There's not much left up there. Uh, tour, flower, pour. I'll have to think of a minutely funny pun about that in a minute. Do we need to wait? Potted dirt flower. Oh, this plant's not immediately dying, so I'll take it. Cool then. Inventory! <laughs> Round a picture. It's a picture of a flying pizza and a sports fanatic alien child. No, he's just from Cleveland. Uh, I can't think of anything to say about that. Uh, no, you're a moose. Tray. Ooh, we got a tray. Good, good, good. Solar light. Uh, I guess the flowers get their solar energy from this miniature star. That is awesome. I want a miniature star for my room. That would be so cool. I'd learn to sleep with it. I, I, I would put a, a big giant drape on it or something like that. I would most likely be a fried egg tree if I tried doing something to it. <laughs> fried eggs are good. Uh, 7272. I'm concerned that their numbers are so high. It's not just subject three. They've had a lot of kids they went through. Ooh, key card. I think I'll swipe this key card. Uh, so I can swipe the card and the card key scanners. You're being deliberately hard on people who are trying to speak. I, I don't speak well to begin with. Zap him, zap him. We do it. <laughs> yes. Sorry. <laughs> oh, under the bed. I see a photo of a puking gorilla under the bed. It doesn't quite tickle my fancy. You never know what's useful in a, a game like this. Wish I could say that brightened my day. Oh! Yeah, light bulbs actually suck. There's those off-white, not-white things that are like blue-white. The light is slightly wrong. <laughs> Alright, so what's down here? Oh, hello. Uh, guard beast. Zan, is that a friend of yours? Just the eye. It, that was, it's nothing. It's up touchy. It looks kind of cute, actually. I don't want to take my chances sneaking into the room behind it, though. Yeah. I mean, Zan's kind of cute, too, so... I understand completely. Can you go up here, sneak by it? A room that has a pit of acid. I'm guessing that he's just getting this translated in his brain and it's actually like a four-letter word. Unreachable steak. Steak might come in handy if only I could get it without being covered in acid. Middle fish slug? That metal thing, fishy thing, looks hungry. It, it's a good thing it's made of metal. Are you certain? I mean... I mean, okay. Fish slug. Yep, yep, that's where all the soda pop comes from. It's all slug mucus. Now you know, it's a big giant thing right there. Life transferring station. Living thing goes here, dead animal goes there. Okay. Oh, no. Life transfer machine instructions. To properly transfer life from a living thing to a dead animal, it's as easy as one, two, three. Or is that one minus two minus three? Because that make things complicated. Uh, put a living thing where the round arrow indicates. Put a dead animal where the other big arrow sign indicates. Press the arrow in the middle of the machine. Also know that with the living thing dies when the dead animal comes to life. Yeah. Let's not do that. Well, this thing is, is alive, right? 
dirt flower? Or do you go here? No. Dead animal's supposed to go here. Living thing's supposed to go there. It can, so it will. I have no idea. It's not a bad poster. Posters are innately neutral by nature. I mean, if it played D&D, it'd be a druid. Note, notes on the wall. Remember to feed Oswald, the monster. He only eats live meat. Signed, Nitwit. Who is Nitwit? Okay, out, out, here, okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It doesn't eat what he can't smell, so find food with an aroma and put it where smell can easily spread. Signed, Nitwit. Am I the Nitwit? Don't answer that, Zan. Zack. I see it up in the corner. <laughs> yes! Deep fried fill. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what are we missing? What are we doing? I've got an entire room downstairs I didn't go into. Oh! Escape pods. We should go in them. I usually find the best channel t on TV to be the one with static. I used to do that. Back in the day, I used to watch static. It was a great way to go to sleep. I had a... a a analog antenna uh, right before it all went digital and uh, it was awesome uh, on weird nights I could get stations that I've never heard of before uh, really weird programming too it's awfully tempting just to fly right out of this place yes exactly but I think uh, my friends would like me more if I'd save them all first oh I think he needs a, a taste of evil I had a taste. It's wonderful. It's fantastic. Ooh. Statue? Whoa. I'm out of sight and out of mind. Cool. Uh, also, key card, right? Bonk. I, I don't know why, but we're, we're going to go there. Oh! He's back. I thought we could just, you know, sneak by him. So I noticed on the map there's a giant room down at the bottom here don't know how to get to. Did I miss a room or something? That fish is up there, so can I get through? Yeah, there's a little hole in the wall here. <laughs> Hidden door! I was so excited I cut out the music. I have no idea why that keeps happening. Awesome! Careful, man. Careful. Right, you got a steak. So I know what to do here. We just went through all of it. The uh, life transferring station is here, and we're gonna put this here, and we're gonna make. Actually, let's. Put, can we put it in the tray? No. Can we put this in the tray? No. Okay. Put this here then. Okay. Put that there, and then did it. I think it said. The only gauge I really pay much attention to is the one on the bathroom scale. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't pay attention to that one either. <laughs> I do. It's always bad news. Alright. Pressing this arrow doesn't do anything the machine isn't on. Oh. Power panel. <gasps> Another puzzle. Uh, don't tell me I need fuses. Do I need fuses? Weird. Okay, so this is not working like I thought it would. Okay, so there has to be something to do with this then. Okay, he's invisible, now he's not. So it's just like a place to hide. Okay, okay, noted for later, place to hide. So what can we do? Dirt is like a dessert mix. To make mud pie, just add water. Okay, dessert? I got a pan. Let's see what I can do. Nothing? Alright. Oh, I actually got dirt in that. I didn't think I I did. Okay. Um. What good is that? <laughs> okay, so the note said an aroma or smell. So, earth means like rotting things. So let's see. Yep. Meat goes on that. 
and then this goes up, and there's still no power. I have no idea what I'm missing at this point. I got a thing of earth. I have no idea. I put the piece of meat on it, so I think this is all set up now. The problem I'm having is I don't have any power, and I don't know what I need to do to get power. Oh! Okay. I didn't. The one bed I didn't check under? Okay, so we got a screw. Oh, we always had a screw loose. Actually, there was. There was only three screws back in the room, right? So, yeah, we're gonna pick up the screws. Okay, so we got we got four screws. What do I need four screws for? What? Uh, oh, there's four in the power station, right? Yeah. The fact that they use their screws like this, I'm, I'm, okay, sure. If root match, blah, 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 oh no, coding, no. <laughs> College, it sucks. All right, here we go. L give life to my creation, let it grow. <laughs> oh, the poor thing. Here we go, and, and, well, it's alive, I guess. It's, uh, adorable. Okay! Hey! I like that! So the seeds magically came back to life. Live steak in a tray. That's great. Uh, it took root. It's not going anywhere. Uh, that is great. Let's get away from him. Let's put this in the grate. There we go. Yeah. Uh, how do we trigger this? Yeah, walking to the monster with the meat aroma in the air is a brilliant idea. Well, maybe I'll have to find a plate to sit in. No, how about a place to hide? I think a plate might be better. Okay. Um, quick, lock him in. I'm afraid dinner to go is not the option for you anymore. <laughs> Great! Uh, is it an option for me? Because that sounds fantastic. Ooh, ooh, I love this area. Where are we? What's going on? Enter the children's dreams in the chair in the next... I could be wrong, but this looks important. Dude, in a world like today, signs are everywhere. You mostly just ignore them. Enter the children's dreams in the chair in the next room. Their dreams will end when, in them, they meet doom. Something's clicking in my head. My friends are physically protected by barriers. Because of this, I can't directly wake them up. No, but we had fun trying! However, my dream that went on into college stopped when I was killed. Their dreams will only end when in them they meet doom. Which means, in order for me to save my friends, I'll have to kill them from within their dreams. <laughs> I really like this game. It's a dream come true. <laughs> uh, Alright. Numbers. No! Numbers! Um, 7878 seven, eight was one, I think. Nothing happened. Nope. Alright. So I need, I need their numbers. Uh, I'll be right back with that. Okay, that will do it for today's episode of Riddle School 5. I'm loving it. It's great. Uh, it's actually still going to go into Flash Frenzy, but this is turning into a full-on game and not a little quick Flash game. I'm fine with that. It's fun. It's absolutely fun. It's a total blast. Uh, so until next time, part two, I will see you all in that episode. Until then, have fun, everyone.